his five units of EVA propellant. He's going to use it to try and get into orbit. G'day, mate, and welcome back to this week's episode of Kerbal Space Program with me, JD. So, after last episode, we sort of left Jeb slightly stranded out and out on the mum, and he's got a rocket that may or may not have fallen over due to pilot error, and he may or may not have enough fuel to get home, and like no controls whatsoever. Also, it's laying on its side. So yeah, he's pretty much screwed. 15 different ways from Sunday. Um, so, we need to set up a rescue mission. Now, not only do we have to... Well, in theory, we should have a little bit of science. Or maybe we already spent it. Nope, we got a little bit of science. So, recession development. We need to spend some science points. Now, really, I can have anything in this tier. But we have basic science. Pretty useless for rescuing Jeb. Flight control and aviation pretty useless for rescuing Jeb. We have general construction, which will let us have a crew cabin, which will let us bring up two Goebbels. You think I'd go for that one? Uh, along with, you know, struts and decouplers and all sorts of fun stuff. Really, we're going to go for advanced rocketry. Because we can. Um, it's going to give us a bigger fuel tank. It's also going to give us a tiny little itty bitty terrier engine, which is more efficient. Um, in fact, they're actually a lot more efficient. Um, 345 in a vacuum compared to, I think we're at two something currently. Maybe we're at 310. I don't know. A lot more efficient. Also, a lot smaller thrust. Perfect for little tiny burns. Uh, so we're going to grab that. And then I may or may not have already built a ship. Uh, that ship. Okay. Uh, can I delete the invalid parts? Okay. I built a ship using the bigger... Well, I, I built basically a save Jeb ship. Except I added two things. I added a onion re-entry module, module. Which will actually take the ablator off. And we're going to take the mono propeller off you to save us a little bit of weight. Um... So we had somewhere to put Jeb when we go get him. Uh, at the same time, I added Valentina to the crew because we need somebody to pilot this thing because we can't fly anything by wire. Um, so I threw Val in as our secondary pilot. Hopefully she can either learn something from Jeb or teach something to Jeb, either way. Um, on top of that, I have installed a couple of mods. You'll notice that uh, Kerbal Engineer Redux is actually installed. Uh, which means this little part here, uh, if I put that on my spaceship, I actually get a lot of readouts that really, honestly, I thought by now would be included in default game. They're not. Um, on top of that, I get like, this gives me a total del Delta V of the whole rocket. Um, and I also believe, it, you know, you can sort of set this to different stages. This gives it a nice, clean, easy to read format. So my first stage being the outside solid rocket boosters lasts for 54 seconds. They give me a thrust to weight ratio of two and they give us this much Delta V and then so on and so forth up the rocket. Um, so yeah, the idea is we're gonna launch this and hopefully be able to save Jeb. So yeah, really, really hoping Val can get up, land, pick up Jeb and fly all the way back. That's the plan. As with most plans, they sometimes go well, sometimes don't. Okay, the other mod I've installed, actually I've installed a few. Um, so this gives me minimum ambient lighting. It basically means that hopefully it's easier for you guys to see even after it goes through YouTube's um, compression algorithm. On top of that, we now have a pretty planet. It's really pretty. Uh, warp to next morning. That's what I want. I knew the button existed somewhere. Uh, save Jeb. Fly. Um, lastly, I've got two extra readouts. One up here, one up here. Um, basically, 
This one is all about surface information. So it's how far I am off the ground, all that sort of stuff. It's literally reading the, uh, the information I already have. Um, and this one is basically reads my apoapsis and my periapsis. Um, both have been real difficult for me to jump to map view to read and then jump back so I can actually have control and, and something to see and yeah. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna get Val off the ground and hopefully she can keep the rocket pointing in the up direction. Um, I do need to install a couple more mods. I really want something for the better the better fire effects from the rockets, but you know, one mod at a time, one week at a time. Um, the biggest thing I found, which is something I forgot about Kerbal Space Program, is there are lots of good mods out there, but not all of them are updated. And, and that's the thing that really cool. Um, lots of mods just don't get updated. Val's actually doing really good. This is going straight up. This is somewhat impressive. You're hired, Val. She's even got her hands on the controls. I'm like, Jeb, who's like, yeah, let's go. Hands up the air. All right. 10,000 meters, 11,000 meters, 12,000 meters. Can I actually hold onto the rockets for a little bit? Or the, or the extra the extra weight? Um, because this is going to level us out at 28. I just want to keep the upright so we cut through some more of the atmosphere. Dump those, dump those, dump those. Dump those. Fire those rockets. No Val. Up. Ooh, it's got a bit of wibbly wobbly. It's fine, it's a design feature. Uh, actually, we can. Ooh. Quality rocket program we have. We want to actually start leaning over sideways. Because you don't go up to space, you sort of go sideways to space. So, we need to start wibbly wobbling our way over. Uh, we've already hit our, our apoapsis height we're aiming for. So let's come in here, we'll set a maneuver node to go faster. And Come on, Val. Val, you can do it. Uh, no, this way. This way. This way. Down. Um, how long till that burn time? No T. Oh, we should already be burning. Teach me to pay attention. So yeah, we're one minute or less than a minute from, from, from our burn time and our burn time is like a two minute burn. So we should have already started. And when we get to here, we're actually gonna go from three rockets down to one rocket. So yeah, we should have actually been burning for quite some time. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's turn on stability control. Okay, we've still got a minute left on our burn. Alright, can we get a crew report? Oh, you're in this crew. Yes, we can. We can also transmit the data because we brought the patent pending Jeb Rescue Beacon Thingamajiggy Bob. Uh, can we also get an EVA report? Get her back inside. Uh, review store data, transmit it. Unfortunately, that reset our maneuver node. Terribly. Uh, Val, eye on the prize, eye on the prize. I don't think I can actually cut our engines for a little bit. We'd actually accelerate it too far. I have no idea how, but we have. She's doing okay. Uh, we have to keep an eye on that electrical charge because I don't have any extra batteries and I have no way of charging our batteries. All right, full thrust. Can I at 
look at that place. So the closer to my apoapsis I burn, the more efficient the fuel is. We're, we're talking fractions of a fraction here. Um, but as I run a very horrible space program with no uh, redundancy built into the system, um, every drop of fuel probably will count at some stage. Um, so I'm just going to wait for this to come down a little bit lower. And then we'll fire a rocket back up again. And we're in orbit. We're in orbit, I tell you! Okay, so that's our target. We want to aim to about when the mum's on the horizon. Put a maneuver node there. We want to accelerate out. 69 meters. Okay. So... Back to our spaceship, we want to warp to this maneuver and we'll spin our ship around so we're facing our maneuver node, wherever it happens to be, right there. And come on, come on. And once again, we should already be burning. Okay. So we can't quite see the mum yet. But this is what the maneuver node told us. So we're going to drop that rocket, fire the next rocket up. Chetty loses his confidence and goes and looks at that view. Should be just popping around the horizon any minute now. I want to talk, talk. Oh, I want a lights on. Priorities, JD. Lights on. There we go. Much better. I don't see it. In theory, it's out there. Okay, we want to focus view. I'm going to watch this come out. I'm going to cut the speed down. Because I do want to get... I actually want to get closer than this. I want to go a lot closer than this. So we're down to 7 meters per second on our burn, 6 meters, 5 meters, 3 meters, 2, 1. This is the point where you say good enough, but I want to come in closer. That was too close. That was too close. That's a crash. Uh, toggle talk. Spin the rocket around. I just double there. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna say okay to that. We're gonna do some time warps out to here. Uh, actually, slash. I you slash. I said slash. Which slash? That slash. Okay. We're gonna actually time warp. Not that close. Just a little bit further away. So we're going to approach the mum, leave Kerbin behind, get nice and close. Because ideally, it'd be easy to pick up Jeb if he wasn't on the ground. Like, just, just ideally, technically. So maybe that's our plan. Maybe we get Jeb up off the ground, like just like, like the Martian style. Oh, that's a really high inclination. That was not meant to be like that. Okay, let's do a maneuver. Let's get this sorted first. Ugh. That's a ship. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, turn on SAS. Toggle talk. Let's get into an orbit before we worry about anything else. Done. We can warp. It's a 14 second burn. Warp here. It's like a 14 second burn. It's not exactly a big burn. Ooh. Uh, that's Jeb's little flag. He's, he's right there. Like, I really wish we could just pop over and get him, but um, at the moment we're flying th past the surface at 800 meters per second. Yeah, we just need to slow down a little bit first. Bye, Jeb. We came. We're coming, hopefully. Uh, okay, T minus... Seven. Uh, hopefully. We should now be, yep, we captured at least. Okay. I want to switch to because like I said, the Martian style, like just pop up into the app, well, into the, 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 into a, into a ballistic orbit and then get caught. That would be ideal. That would be perfect. Uh, that's our plan. So Jeb's ready. He's a master pilot. What he's going to do is he's going to close the service base, fire off the rocket. Ooh. Yep. Going to go for maximum sideways. That's as far as we go. Uh, EVA, grab all the data, uh, and then try and get into orbit with his jetpack. Nothing but his jetpack. He's five units of EVA propellant. He's going to use it to try and get into orbit. It's got a higher orbit than what the spaceship does. Come on, Jeb. We have faith in you. Uh, actually, can I... That's a target. Oh, wow. We want to go way north. Like, way north. Uh, is that fixing things? A little bit. A little bit. Now, don't forget, Jeb's got limited snacks. Like, he's not worried about air or anything else. He's worried about snacks. Limited amount of snacks. He did confirm that the mum's not made out of cheese and unfortunately couldn't bring any, and shove any mum particles, rocks in his pockets of snacks to keep him going. Okay, so he's got a de decent amount of height. We're going to warp him to here. And as I said, we're going to use that um, that efficiency to push up his the other end of his orbit. Uh, no, still got a bit to go. Oh. Uh, how far off the ground is that? That's five kilometers. That is off the ground. That is alive. That is, he's fine. The problem is um, our rocket ship really, really, really doesn't do a very good intercept. Uh but one problem at a time. Jeb's at least in orbit. We can now pick him up from orbit, save ourselves a bunch of fuel. Um, we just need to actually pick him up. Uh, separation, 290 kilometers. That's a bit more than I was looking for. 0.01. Ooh. Okay, so we've fixed that problem. Uh... 
Four kilometers is fine. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this maneuver now. It's a seven second burn, so it's not that long. We're going to warp around. At least then the two planes will intercept one another. Uh, and of course, I'm warping so fast that it's actually time to do the burn right now. Come on. Point oh two is as good as I'm gonna get. Because I failed. Alright. So separation several hundred kilometers. More several hundred kilometers. Ab maneuver. Let's just drag you out of the way. So that's our separation. You know, one of us is here, one of us is there. Uh, that's our second one. One there, one there. 0.7 kilometers. That's the one I want. That's 700 meters. That's semi attainable even by my piloting standards, possibly. Uh, it is a burn for 0 0.6, 0 0.6 seconds. So, very, 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 very tiny burn. Uh, what we actually do is we'll turn that off and then stabilize the rocket. And we're going to cut our thrust rate down to 10%. So now it's a five second burn. The stern look on Val's face. She's like, no, all mission, all mission. None of this Jeb screwing around crap. Uh, toggle talk is off because that electrical charge is all I've got. I'm just going to pray that the maneuver node puts us in the right spot. Okay. 0.8. I can live with 0.8. 0.8 is a good start. So we're going to warp around the planet. And then when we get down here, we should be somewhat close to Jeb. Somewhat. Uh, as in, that's Jeb right there. So. Uh, toggle talk. So I want to catch up to Jeb. Uh, yeah, I want to catch up to Jeb. Nope, I want to slow down from Jeb. Wrong way around. Yeah, slow down from Jeb. Uh, holy crap, there's a Jeb. Jeb, come back here. So what I need to do is I need to push that yellow marker on top of that pink marker by throwing all the thrust at it. Uh, 30%. Because I can do this, I can I, I can stabilize both our orbits, so we're at least in a in a orbit that hopefully doesn't move too far from one another. Now 10 k's away. Uh, 100%. 12 k's away. Oh boy. Uh, that's in the planet. That's a crash. Why are we crashing to catch up to Jeb? That's bad. Uh, 
This mission might be over already. Stop being so difficult. Alright, let's fly towards chair. How is going towards Jeb crashing us? Two point one. It's definitely better than the ten, eleven kilometers we got so far. Uh, okay, we really need to actually speed up our orbit. How much fuel don't I have? Not a lot. Okay, us staying in orbit is more important than catching up with Jim. Definitely. That's a 10 kilometer separation. That's a 20 kilometer separation. I can change this over to target. Uh, that's prograde. Yeah, so I wanna speed up to the target. That's fine. Uh, no, we're up to 84 kilometers. We step around the whole orbit. We're down at bad numbers all around. Worried about my fuel and my electrical charge. Both are bad. All right, fuel. I have actually. I've still got a good amount of Delta V left. So the mission's not over. We just have to work out how to get catch up to Jet. So that actually makes it worse. The further up I go. as well. So I actually want to be going slightly slower. But Jeb's orbit is not exactly high. In fact, it's really, really low. Yeah, we're going to just boost their rocket up a bit higher. Because they don't have a better option. Ideally, I'd take one up, one down, and then we could have a nice meeting. So much riding. Uh, seven kilometers. Close that. Ad maneuver. Intersects all the way over there. 
move it forward in orbit. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Okay, that separation of 0.9 of a kilometer. Which sounds really close, except it's not. Oh, that's worse. That's a whole bunch worse. Oh. One point three, one point three, one point one, point eight. That's the best I'm going to get. Uh, how many warps forward was that? Uh, I'm gonna, let me get it. Okay, press slash. Gonna limit you to ten percent, and I think I can actually do a. No. 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 I think I can go forward. Oh no, 3 hours 53 minutes, that's what I want. Okay, I want to warp to no, but I don't have that option. Alright, we're just going to do some quick time warping. I will be right back. Alright, we're one minute out from our burn. It's a three second burn, so it's a long one. Um, but it's also a highly uh, accurate burn, which I've already screwed up. Every meter per second matters. Done. So our separation over there is 1.1 kilometers. So I'm going to warp way out, actually. All the way over to there. And then we're going to try and get that separation way down. At least that's the hope. Uh, actually, what we might do is if I come to here, add a maneuver node, if I slow down one kilometer, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, okay, 0 0.7, 1.3, oh, that went backward. Point seven. If I burn in slightly, point seven, point seven, point eight. No, out slightly, point seven, point seven, point two. That's real close. Okay, so I wanna. Warp here. Then we're going to line up with our maneuver node and do another six second burn to get really close to Jeb. And then that's only 200 meters. At 200 meters. I don't know if I want to take the rocket closer. I want to take Jeb closer. Probably Jeb. Jeb's going to be easily easier to maneuver. Uh, It's a six second burn. Our intersect is now 300 meters away. Okay, so I turn off stability control. I'm gonna hit the save button. We're gonna Switch to Jeb, who's still here floating above the mum. Please just punch. Uh, gonna s 
No, you. Save Jeb, that is our target. We're going to warp here. Cool, in this we get down to 300 meters. So, I'm going to warp a little bit further along. Can we not do that, KSP? Please. What the hell? Oh, that put me in the planet. Awesome. So, I want to accelerate toward... No. No. I want to back off from the target. Can we not do that? Yeah, boom, it's going flying past us. That direction. more in that direction. Okay, slow down, slow down, Jeb. Uh, no! How's my fuel? Bad. I, I can see it. That counts, right? circles that's my problem okay we're now going towards it at seven meters per second okay now I want to face the other way and I'm going to go forward that way Getting close, we're getting real close. Real close. Come on, Jeb. Reach out, grab hold. Get down to almost nothing in mono propellant. Uh, F, 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 grab hold of something. 0.57 monoperial. 0.55. Crap, crap. Board! Oh. Hi, Jeb. Meet Val. Hi, Val. Meet Jeb. Oh, we made it. We made it. So, the question is now we have a Jeb and I have a Kerman. Can we make it back to Kerbal in one piece? It's something that you and I are both going to have to find out next week we rescue jeb we're going to call it here for a day there's only so much adrenaline i can take um jeb actually now has a full fuel tank because he's refilled it through magical ksb means so you never know maybe we'll go for another eva maybe he'll get out and push the rocket home um either way we'll find out next week so thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed this special episode of gerbil space program i will see you guys next weekend for yet another episode all right thanks for watching bye